Hello everyone, I am very excited about today's project. Look how nice this piece turned out. Welcome to Gazelle Creative Studio, my name is Uriel. Are you looking for a creative and innovative way to give your home a fresh, unique style? Do you want to give a special handcrafted gift to someone? Then you have come to the right place. Join me as we explore the wonderful wall of art, craft and design. From DIY project tutorials to inspiring ideas, for home decor, I will show you how to give any space an eye-catching upgrade with simple materials, innovative techniques, and a bit of imagination. My one-of-a-kind video series will give you the tools you need to transform the ordinary into the extraordinary. So get ready to experience to artistry with incredible art, craft, and design DIYs and tutorials. I am excited to be part of the uh, What Will You Make Challenge. As hosts, we have Zena from OK at Home DIY and Connie from Connie's Wood Shop and DIYs. For this month's guest host, we have Johnny and Diane from Deco Easy. The links to their channels will be in the description below, along with the playlist of all the projects. Let's get started with these pieces. For the large pedestal lamp, we will need two of these wooden trays from the Dollar Tree Plus section, about uh, 28 dowels like these, some of this ribbon that came from a hat or a placemat also from the Dollar Tree. For the small pedestal lamp, we will be using two of these uh, wooden wall pieces from Michaels and some of these dowels also from Dollar Tree. This should be a simple and straightforward process. I have made some markings on this tray to see where I need to place each dowel. I highlighted just the main points, then I will eyeball the placement for the rest of the dowels. This was a very relaxing project, so I hope you stay until the end to see the final piece. Now I will put this piece aside and let it dry and get started on the small one. Since this piece is small and squared, I will just eyeball the placement for all the dowels.
I lost some footage for this step, but it is not critical. For this wooden wall piece, I removed the top with my hands, as this will become the opening. I cut four dowels with my miter shears at a 45 degree angle. I will create a frame with these dowels and make them flush inside of the wooden square. While I let this piece dry, I am going to work on the large pedestal lamp. I have made a large circle around the edge. I will cut this in my garage so I will be right back. And this is what we have so far. This piece is coming along nicely. It is looking very stylish. Also the piece I just cut and sanded. Next, I am going to glue all the dowels to the wooden rim using tacky glue and clamps as you can see here. Now I am going to do the same thing for the small pedestal lamp. As you can see, I am not going to push the wooden frame all the way down just yet. I am leaving room to put some tacky glue, then push it down for a permanent hold. Friends, I hope you are enjoying this video. Please consider subscribing to this channel and like this video. A big thank you to all my subscribers. You are awesome. Here is the large pedestal lamp all nice and dry, next I am going to paint it. I will be using this very nice brown burgundy paint by Bear from Home Depot. So relax and enjoy as I like the process of painting.
After painting and giving it a coat of Mod Podge to this piece, it is time to weave it. I will be using this beautiful ribbon that has some small holes, which it will help for some light to go through. I will be applying it using hot glue. Also, I will be doing the same thing for the smaller piece using a different color for the ribbon. Are you ready for the final reveal? What do you think of this final piece? Let me know in the comments below. A beautiful piece during the day and gorgeous at night. This piece can be also a basket and many other things. Thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe, like and share.